Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life. Today we're doing something a little bit differently and it's either going to be awesome or it's going to go horribly wrong in so many different ways. <laughs> so let's just jump into it and see what happens. So today I'm gonna to be using um, a, a wearable device, some assistive technology, to see if I can draw a picture. Um, so I used to love to draw when I was younger and in particular comic book superheroes and villains, things like that. Um, I used to love to do that and I can still do it somewhat on a large scale. So if I do it like on a whiteboard, um, I, can, I can manage. My problem is the detail, the, the detail work, the small detail work. You know, with no central vision, that's very difficult. So I'm, I'm basically drawing pictures with my peripheral vision. I've always wondered if I would be able to do it using a wearable device. Uh, I've done it, I've drawn pictures with CCTVs, you know, digital desktop magnifiers, and it's great, I love doing that. Um, but I've never tried with a wearable device, which is basically a digital magnifier strapped to your face. So I, I've been asked about this before. I don't know why I've never made a video, uh, but I was recently reminded about this by my wonderful sister. So thank you very much for recommending this video. And I thought since most of us are sitting at home right now because of this COVID-19 craziness, uh, we probably have some extra time on our hands and might want to kind of get back into some old hobbies or some old things that we, we used to love to do and we don't do anymore. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Um, I've got a bunch of cameras set up to hopefully document this process. Now, as I said, it could go very, very wrong because I haven't drawn in a long time. And the skill of, of creating art is very much like anything where if you don't use it, you lose it. You don't practice, it's just going to go away. And I, I, I know that I can't draw as well as I used to, um, and that's very sad. So don't judge this too harshly. <laughs> if it turns out looking like garbage, you know, I'm sorry. Um, it's a learning process. And I'm sure that using assistive technology like a wearable device is going to be like anything else where it's going to take practice. Now, what am I using? I should probably mention that. I am going to be using the Patriot Viewpoint. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> uh, yeah, Patriot is not sponsoring this video. Um, this is just the one that I decided to use. Incidentally, if Patriot wants to sponsor a video, definitely hit me up, guys, at Patriot. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm sure I will do future videos uh, featuring other wearable devices, but the viewpoint is just the one I decided to grab today. So that being said, without further ado, let's try to draw something. <laughs> so I think for my drawing today, I'm going to recreate this character that I came up with a long time ago. Um, he doesn't even have a name. He's just a very simple character. And that's why we're going to go with him today, because he is such a simple character to draw. So I know right away that the first issue with using something like this that I will have to deal with is the lack of, of depth perception. Uh, so if I'm going to put my pencil down, my pencil tip down on the paper to draw a specific line, it's going to be difficult knowing where to put it down exactly. Um, that being said, I have a very sketchy drawing style, especially, you know, in the pencil stage of drawing a picture. So it shouldn't be too bad. I usually draw, sketch out a bunch of different lines, and then when I'm inking, I'll go in and I'll pick the line that I want. So we'll just kind of start drawing some stuff here. And I also know that um, 
going to be doing a lot of back and forth as far as zooming in, zooming out. Yeah, that's the hardest part about this is, you know, when you're drawing, you can get, you can zoom in to look at the detail, but you need to very regularly step back and try and take the picture in as a whole. Uh, that's very true with painting as well. They say when you're painting, you should always step back at least six feet because six feet is the, the average viewing distance of a painting. So you should step back kind of get the whole composition in all at once, you know, and then then go back in and do your detail. Because so, there's certain things that you can only see when you back up, which is difficult when you're wearing something like this. So you back up and you realize, I realize I made that eyebrow too big. Where's my pencil? There it is. Neck is too big, but that's okay. We're gonna move on. Let's draw a full body of this guy. Okay, I clearly still need work. Still need to practice my heads <laughs> and my proportions and shading and ah. That's about it for this session here. This is really just a proof of concept. Will it work? And I think it could, you know, I'm never gonna be as good as I used to be uh, when my eyes were a lot better. That's just the honest truth about it. Could I still make great drawings or great artwork or great painting using this device or a device like this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it would just take practice, a lot of practice. And of course, that's true about everything. The more you do it, the better you get at it. But like I said, I just wanted to see if it was possible. So, guys. If you are stuck at home right now and you're wanting to maybe dust off an old hobby and you're wondering if you think you can still do it, um, pull out a, a some type of AT device, whether that's a desktop digital magnifier, a wearable device like the Patriot Viewpoint or something else, and give it a shot. You never know. Okay, guys, that was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions for me, as always, let me know down below. If you like the video, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel to see more videos about living an awesome blind life, <laughs> trying to anyway. And make sure you turn on notifications, check the little bell icon so you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Thanks again guys, Sam with the Blind Life, I'll see you next time.